It is already Wednesday. Time flies. Hold on. Maybe that made a bit of a noise. If it did, I'm sorry, but Wednesday. You know what it is. Mm hmm. Mm. Ugh. Hard sip. Hello, Ruski. You guys are on a lovely stroll, it looks like, coming from bus stop. That actually is getting used, so kudos to you. Now, will this road tell me anything? Well, we're in Russia as we GR Gras, Grasman and Lotev. Grasman and Lotev. Okay. Now, this looks like a sign. That might tell me. That just says something. It doesn't tell me what I need to know. Dirt road. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Interesting how it goes from two lanes, I think, and it's just like, all right, nah, no, we're 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 one lane. And you kinda just I'm gonna make you guys work it out. The sign doesn't tell me highway either so it's just gonna be a bit of a uh, crapshoot I think as we go through a midweek episode of your GeoGuessr for both of us is that a sign or is that just a that's just a picture of what this will be well, I got a bit of a ways to go I'm going to go up to here because I think that's a sign that might tell me potentially highway. It seems to keep getting farther away every time I get closer to it. <clears throat> Not corn. No, that's K O G E. Let's go this way. See what I, I saw a weird thing. I think it was on uh, Monday. Two days ago from when you were watching this video. Unless you're watching in the future, then... Just pretend it was the past Monday you just did. And I read this thing. About the, uh... Kosh... Coach... Kosh... K-O-C-H... Snowflake. And... is another one of those, like, paradoxical things... That... People... Can have a hard time comprehending, under understanding... This is a factory of some uh, of something I don't know. I have no idea where this is. If it's clearly not obvious, if you do, congratulations. You're better at this than I am, knowing my Russia guesses. And let me take a sip. Mm. And it's um, <laughs> this weird thing. the The way the Kosh K O C H snowflake was explained is it's a thing that has a defined border but infinite in size it's it's a weird paradoxical thing that i guess makes sense where you take a triangle then you take each line of the triangle and in the middle of it you pay you put two more lines so it's kind of like triangle triangle turns into like the star of david star of david then it divides on itself and it's it's a snowflake and then it just gets infinitesimal infinitesimally it's more points on it. And I guess the way the math works out is the size of it, um, it's always like the, the, the surface area when you actually measure the, um, measure the edges, it, it gets bigger by like a number of like seven fourths or something like that. It's a weird math thing that not understanding the numbers, uh, apparently I was close. Not understanding the numbers, it's just the idea that it has a, again, a set border. Fucking every checkbox. We're getting it here, boys. <clears throat> it just gets, the, the border gets bigger, but the space kind of doesn't really. I mean, I'm not doing a very good job of explaining it, but you could probably just, uh, where, where am I going? You can probably just, um see it for yourself when you if you google it and there's like a pretty handy little uh gif of it on the on the uh wikipedia page for it that kind of explains how it works 
Um, we're on either this is Route 80, or no, it's got to be Route 80. <clears throat> I don't know where, though. I didn't thought that might have been speed limit, but it's not. That had highway on it. I think that did. No, that's just mileage. It's a mile marker. That's adopt the highway. That's adopt the highway. So this is Route 80. I just don't know what state. Now, it's flat as hell. So it's Midwest, I believe. But there is some hillage. So potentially, maybe this area. I'm just going to leave it here for now and see if I can't get a better sign. Because this isn't bad. It's 2017, but it just does not feel like it. And it's just another one of those, like, uh, weird math paradox things, Mobius strips, stuff like that, that you see and you're like, oh, that's interesting. And then it just doesn't make any sense to you when you follow through with the math. But the math works. I mean, it, it's way above my mental acuity level, acumen, whatever you want to call it. I just read it like most people go, hey, that's cool. Store it away in that side of my brain with like potential topics for parties, you know, because I'm sure nobody wants to hear you talk about Jeffrey Dahmer or uh, Rasputin and his weird sex cult. It, you don't want to be that guy in the party unless someone else pops it up. Then you do like the thing where you kind of like pop up, you, you straighten your back out, and you're just like, Oh, what's this? Someone's talking about a thing I might have interest in that. If I brought it up myself, it would sound real weird in a party, and everyone would be just like, let's get away from that guy. What happened to the quality of this image? I'm scared to go back, because this is just going nowhere. I'm going to go back. This is just going nowhere. So I went on here, and then I went here. This is a high school. Can't. It's the Geraldine Tigers. I don't know where you are. Midwest. This is going to be bad score. Let's click there, because fuck if I know. Can I get bonus points for saying Route 80 hit home? Let's see if we can't get back to that road. This is like the Brady Road. Like, I can read things, but equity. This is like a big train depot for... All right, go this way. I've got 33 seconds. See if I can't get anything. And then you you heard that one thing be brought up in the conversation. Then you're kind of like just sitting on the periphery waiting for potential attempts for it to come back up again. But you want to be close enough where you can chime in. But not far enough away that it sounds real weird that you're just yelling across the room. Hey! Talk about that thing! And then... Oh god. This can't... This is... End me now with this fucking... With this, this is just awful. <clears throat> Thank you, and me. Montana. Like, four or five have been just Montana, and I'm getting upset at you, Montana, now. You're now slowly falling down the list of things that I just get annoyed with. Yeah, we're on 80. Get your shit together. Oh, we're just bouncing. Well, this is cool. I was a bit confused about where in Russia this was, but now you got fake palm trees. Let me a little closer to this so I can just double check. Yep, dot are you. So it's a bit hilly. This is ABC SHP Starlevka. Left, cause this is cool. I want to know what this is. This is an old as fuck mountain. Maybe this is the Urals. Nano. What are we selling at Nano? Twenty eight rubles a liter. I think is. I think the math how it works out. We do it by gallon here. It's like a fort. That's kind of cool. I like this. Like, this is definitive erosion, super old-ass mountain where different sections of rock erode at a faster rate. However, I see, uh... Oh, is that Azerbaijan? 
this may be Azerbaijan. Or is it, I think that's the Azerbaijani uh, flag there. And in one of the previous videos I had for, uh, I think it was last week, the week before, for our Uncharted video, I was getting into a hole. I'm going to click down here. Because I feel that this is a joint effort between Azerbaijan and Russia to develop something. I just don't know what. There isn't much road, so maybe I'll just click to like here and hedge my bet. See if this tells me anything else I need to know. I'm really hoping that it turns out to be Azerbaijan, but I went down one of those. It was basically the kind of the same thing you do with Wikipedia, only I just did it for uh, FBI, FBI and their countries lists. And I came across that they have um, web pages for every country in the world, at least recognized by the U.S., even some that aren't, I believe, too. But what's this sign say? Is this the border? And um, they have everything on, on, on the countries there, like origin of the name, what the flag, what all the things represent. Their country, like the history, the, this sign is going to help me, I believe. I'm very confident in this. All right. Dobani? Is there a Dobani around here? Um, I, there's Derbent. That is not Derbent. Not Baku. And the thing, I, the, the, just getting back to the, the thing I read about Azerbaijan is, I believe, uh, the flag colors. I know the blue, I believe, is sky. The green is earth. And then the red, I believe, is the oil fields. I'm really hoping that I nailed this country real close, like, because I'm super confident in this, but I'm pretty sure this is going to blow up on me here that I'll be nowhere near it. But I'm going to click it now because I really hope this becomes true. Oh, nice. Okay. Now I'm concerned that it might have been the Georgian flag, but I don't think it was. I'm still much closer than I thought it would have been. And if I did get your flag wrong, Azerbaijan and Georgia, you'll have to forgive me. I'm just happy I got around the region. And this is Mars. These are some real extreme areas this time. We're getting the, to the top of a mountain here. Potentially Chile. Argentina. I'm feeling it. One of the two. Maybe this truck can help me out. But if you want to get into a country hole. Let me... Uh, oh, shit. Don't think I didn't see what was on your... Uh, don't think I didn't see this. Taxia. Try to fool me here, Russians. When did you colonize Mars? But if you want to get into a country cult, a uh, hole with countries, you want to learn some cool shit. FBI <laughs> webpage for countries. I don't know how you can click to it. I know I found it. Then I found things about, well, let's see what the religion is here. These are Christian crosses. I don't see the orthodoxy. That doesn't help me. Almost half the time spent here. I gotta, I gotta move on so I can maybe find. No, this is no Ad Adlantar. This is South America, I believe. I think it's gonna be Chile, potentially Argentina. But I don't want to say we're high enough up there are no trees. Maybe it's just the climate we're in that there aren't gonna be trees in this part of the world. I don't know. We're coming close to this truck. We're passing this truck. This truck is going to tell me everything I need to know. Agua, it's non, not potable water. I believe potable just means you can't drink it. It's used for, like, spraying on fields. You don't drink it yourself because you don't need dysentery or Montezuma's Revenge. If they're the same thing, I don't know. Let's see what this sign says. 
you blurt it out. Adlantar is queer. Duh. I'm really feeling confident that we're in this. Either we're here or we're down here. Problem is, this is a very long strip of land. This actually could be closer to like Bol Peru and Bolivia. I'm going to click like here and just see how it turns out. This has got to be real high in elevation. On one side of the, I believe we're probably on this side of the mountain range because it is, there's no moisture here. Whenever the winds come from Brazil, you can totally see it here. All the moisture gets dumped before it gets to the top of the mountain. Gets to the other side, there's nothing. There's sections, I believe one of the driest places, I mean, one of the driest places also in Antarctica, just because there's snow there, snow there does not mean it doesn't rain. I believe one of the driest places, if it wasn't for a while, still is, was in Chile. It's a really high altitude desert, which may as well be this, that does not see any moisture. Well, actually, this is all fog, so clearly it's moisture. Like, it, did, it, it didn't rain there for very long periods of time. This has a... Oh, this just has the hazard thing on it. Agua no potable, you don't tell me. It's 500 gallons, but you're in English. You're using imperial measurement, which concerns me. Well, this turns out to be Mexico. I really don't think this is Mexico. But my score can be real terrible here once I see this sign. Ilo Bolivia Mar. So we're uh, we're on the coast of Peru. I did not see why it was foggy as fuck. Oh, bad score. I'll give it for. Just exoticness. Hello. I know what part of the world we're in. <laughs> uh, bad score this time. And it's not Russia's fault. It's fucking Montana. You let me down, Montana. This is the European Union. Um, I believe this could potentially be Romania. That's assuming Romania is in the EU. If it is, good for you. I really should know that, but a lot of things I should know. Like, where the fuck half of these places are when I'm geoguessing. Done enough of these episodes. you think my osmosis would kick in at some point. I'd, I looked at this thing three times, didn't even read it. It's too far away. I'm going to just click in the country just so I've got it. And then go from there. Romania, never been. I've been kind of close. Former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia. I finally figured, remembered, learned what that was from a person I live with who is from said country. Political posters, nice, nice color on that house. Can't tell what you are. That kind of look like the uh, outline of Romania, right next to his face, but. Can't really make anything out there. I'm just going off by the three colors I saw for that tombstone. I'm saying it's Romania. Getting outside of town. Nice picturesque farmland here. With like those row of those those type of trees, whatever they are. That you kind of see edging on uh Farmland between, and then these nice snaking roads that are fun to drive on. Get down there. I would enjoy driving on these. Granted, uh, probably a bunch of other people would be too, and... Mm, you would end up crashing into each other. One weird thing that you wouldn't think about, when especially driving on roads like this, or dirt roads in the middle of the woods, one of the safest times to drive those things is at night. Mainly because you see how windy these things are. What's one of the... Well, it's, it's real hard to see other cars coming if you don't have the little head uh, heads up warning that uh, uh, car headlights will give you before a car comes up. Otherwise, you get around a turn, oh shit, there's a car during the day, but at nighttime, hey, there's a car coming, I'll go drive accordingly until he passes. So, Monastera 
Gear Guinea. I'm going to click closer to here. We're in mountains, but not like mountain mountains, although Romania is a lot of mountains. Mainly like super mountainous until you get to like here. So maybe I'll say here. Although those little things can make me feel like we're closer to like here. And I'm basing that off nothing. All of this is basing it off nothing. I can only fly by the seat of my pants so much. Let's see. Roman Namt. What is the URL for Romania? Is it the R A? R M? Oh no. Yurgini. Never bothered asking the Romanians I know. I don't see them that often because they're in Romania. Um, we got five seconds. I'm just gonna have to live with what I got and hope I got the country right. Get me right country. Oh, we're on the other side of the country. That's still decent enough. I'm gonna give you five stars. This is a bad round. Fifteen. Not happy. I'm... I can't win. I was real... Satisfied with how close this was just 100% guess. This I felt pretty confident in. Got the country right. Fuck you, image, and that was just off. Getting some hard choices here, but when it's random, it's random. I definitely, definitely did not come anywhere close to what we got on Monday, but. Mm -hmm. So how about you play random? It's how about you gamble? Random is gamble. I'm gambling. Didn't pay off, but that's half the fun. I don't know if there's anything I could have learned from this, except maybe the flag there. Pretty sure that was Azerbaijan. I'm going to say it is. But anyway, folks, that's our Wednesday down. That's your Wednesday. Congratulations. You did it. It's pretty much, the week's pretty much over by this point. You're just coasting for the rest of the way. But for everyone here, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Again, any tips, anything to help me with some of this stuff, I'd love it. Even if they're GeoGuessr tips and like how I can game it because of these stupid, shitty quality stuff. Let me know. I'm all ears over here. But we're always here. Uh, have a good day, and we will see you next time.